All right. Uh, you know, like I just told them on a night like tonight when I didn't think we were at our best offensively, you know, we win a game. Uh, you're always happy with getting a W, especially your home games, uh, when you don't play your best. Uh, obviously, defensively carried us. You know, that's uh, two, get, two straight games. Uh, we hold our opponent below 40%. We're 107 and three when we do that. And we just shared that with the locker room. And, you know, their eyes were really big. And I said, this is what we do. We defend and we rebound. Another double digit uh, uh, margin for us where we're 74 and four. Since 2011, we do that. Uh, that's how we got through this game tonight. In particular, the perimeter defense, the first two games. I mean, not only are they not making shots, but they're not getting shots from behind the arc. Yeah. Well, you know, we're, we're, um, we're athletic. We're persistent. Uh, they get through screens well. You know, I, I think that uh, they take a lot of pride in that. And, you know, every time we play, we just hope that we're hard to play against. And I, th I thought that group was. Cheryl, before the season right here, Cheryl. Uh, before the season started, you said you really liked your backcourt. I mean, through two games when Odyssey and Danielle are on the floor in particular, how do you see them playing off of each other, and what kind of challenges does that pose for opposing defense? Well, you know, Odyssey as a two is a little bit different look. Um, I don't know that we've quite figured out yet, offensively, um, how to you know play off each other, but certainly defensively. You know, with Danielle's ball pressure, I thought she was better tonight. Um, you know, obviously Odyssey, you know, takes a huge challenge of guarding Jewel Lloyd. Gave her a couple of things that we wanted her to get done, and I thought she was really good. There was only one time Jewel got off a shot that we didn't want her to have, which was that corner three. You know, that's her hot spot. Um, but I think overall, you know, I think that they, if you see that they communicate really well on the court, um, you know, I think offensively it's hard for me to see anything good right now because I didn't think our offense was very good tonight. Well, uh, you, you harped on the turnovers after the first game, another 21 tonight, and yet you win. Rather easy. I mean, it's a testament to the defense, but it is. what did you tell them about the turnovers? Well, we have to improve, and that's what we talked about. I mean, you certainly win a game. You don't want to beat them over the head, uh, but you also know as you embark on a road trip, um, you know, you do this on the road, you know, it, it, you're going to put yourself in a hornet's nest, and, and uh, you know, we just want to be better the next time we play, and that's going to be our mindset is just, you know, one day at a time. We didn't accomplish it today. Uh, you know, my goodness, three shot clock violations. Um, you know, that's brutal. Um, so we didn't, you know, we just didn't get done what we wanted to get done offensively. Uh, Seattle turned it up after halftime. I think we had 28 points in the paint at half, and and I think we just had eight, you know, the rest of the way. So, um, you know, give give credit to Seattle that they really turned up um, their focus to to make it a little more difficult for us to do what we wanted to do. About halfway through the fourth quarter, you had a lineup of Dante, Shepard, Sims, Fee, and uh, Lexi on the floor together. Obviously, none of those players were here last year. How difficult is it for a group to come in new to each other? and look so connected and be able to just rotate so well together on the floor. I thought you were going to tell me what the offensive rating was for that group. No, I don't you know, Good, that. Good lineups. I was getting excited because uh, <laughs> I was listening to those names. I like that. That's a good lineup. Um, I think, you know, like you said, five new. But we've been practicing, um, you know, so much. I don't think it feels that new to them. But each experience, each time, you know, you face a little bit of adversity and you, know, you find out something different about a teammate. Um, you know, but I'd say overall, you know, they're just good basketball players. Um, and they each just kind of focus on doing their job, you know, in terms of their role in the offense. And um, I think that lineup's pretty hard to guard, though. Um, Nafisa had a nine-point first quarter tonight and then um, didn't score the remainder of the game. Obviously, was in foul trouble. But how did you see her react or respond to that? At the yeah, you know, exactly what we thought. I was surprised she got the nine. Um, and then Seattle, you know, said, uh, we talked about this. And then they, they did much better. Um, protecting the paint. They made it difficult for anybody that was down there. Um, you know, passes were difficult. Angles were difficult. Um, you know, Fee is the same. You know, whether she scored 27 or whether she scores 9 or whether she's in foul trouble, she's the same. You know, and that's what I enjoy about her, her consistency in, in her demeanor, uh, who she is as a teammate. You know, it doesn't fluctuate just because the things didn't go her way tonight. A really efficient game from uh, Demaris tonight. Yeah. Um, and then pretty good play, it seems like, on both ends of the floor. What yeah. did you see from her? Oh, exactly that. I think right before the ball was getting tipped, I, I think I leaned over and said, we need Demaris to have a really good game. Uh, and I was really speaking probably a little bit more defensively because of the matchup with Howard. Um, you know, we, we were you know going to put Demaris on her rather than Sill. And, uh, you know, I thought she stayed in plays very, very well. And then obviously when she was open, she shot it. She turned down one three. She went two for two from three, and then she turns down a three. And then we ended up getting a, a bad shot or a shot clock violation. But... Um, but like you said, Demir's had a, had a really good game, both sides.